and I declare that poverty will be broken in the name of Jesus. So as I command, I command the ministering angels to go before us now as we prepare to go to the streets and into the highways and the hedges. We command the ministering angels of the Lord to go before us now. Let yokes be broken. Let souls be set free. Give men and women a mind to be saved. A mind to say yes Lord. Yes to your will today. Yes I'll obey today. In the name of Jesus. The harvest is ripe but the laborers are few. So therefore pray that the Lord send on laborers. May God bless you and God bless the city of Flint and city of Flint bless God in Jesus name. God bless you. This is our third year being in the body of the universe. Doesn't matter what denomination uh, it is. Doesn't matter what color you are. We all join together in prayer corporately to pray together. The Lord has been in mission for about 94 years. Anyone that's not a part of it should become a part of it because uh, they are strength in numbers and we have a lot of club territory that we're covering on this day. However, if more churches will get on board, that's it. We're a part of the territory. 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 Praise God. Thank you so much, Priscilla Patterson. Next, we are going to have Pastor Ed Watts, followed by Pastor Sherry Britton. We asked you to come forth. Hallelujah. We thank you so much. I remember you. You're another fireball. Amen. Amen. I remember. I remember. Hallelujah. Pastor Ed Watts. I want to pray for the pastors in our region and the churches. I want to pray out of Isaiah 6. In the year that King Isaiah died, he saw the Lord high and lifted up. And our King Isaiah, King Isaiah reigned for 52 years. It was the greatest time of peace and security in the nation of Israel. But after 52 years, King Isaiah died. And there came an open heaven encounter. And our King Isaiah died. GM has died. And different things has died. But what we have is an open heaven, an open door coming to Flint, Michigan. Because Flint, Michigan was destined to manifest the glory of the Lord. So Lord, right now Lord, I pray for the churches and the pastors and the leaders, God, that you're coming with an open heaven encounter in this region, God, that you're opening the heavens over the pastors, God, and that the voice of the Lord is coming, Lord, through the pastors to shake the doorpost of the house, and the house of the Lord will be filled with glory, God. Lord, I thank you that you're raising up an end time house of glory God that the latter glory will be greater than any other glory and I thank you God in Flint Michigan God for a movement coming out of Flint Lord that will touch the ends of the earth God that will be known for the glory of the Lord and Lord I thank you God we decree a shift in Flint Michigan Lord we declare and decree by the word of the Lord Lord that this is the year for Flint to be ignited God and this is is Flint that stands before me, Lord. So, Lord, I pray that you would take a coal from the altar and shove it in their belly, God. Lord, that they would burn for you, God. We pray for pastors that are weary, God, that you would encounter them with the breath, with the ruach of heaven, God, that you would impart to them spirit of wisdom and revelation, God, that they would stand in their pulpits and release a simple word, but their words would carry the weight of heaven, God. And I pray as we go out, Father, from the four walls of the church, God, that when people encounter us, they would encounter the glory of the Lord. Lord, let something shift. Let something change, God, in our region, God. Lord, I thank you even now, Lord. Let a wind begin to blow. Lord, I thank you that
that you're sending the four winds on the dry bones and you're resurrecting an army God, an army of watchmen, even as our mayor, Lord, pray and declare, Lord, I thank you for a watchman movement of burning ones being raised up. And Lord, I thank you, God, for those that are even stand before me, God. I pray right now for an impartation, God, into their spirit, man, that you would breathe into them and awaken a seed of destiny, God. I thank you that there's a seed of destiny. There's a seed of destiny in Flint, Michigan, and the enemy's been warned against it. But Lord, I thank you for such a time as this, God, that this appointed time, that the seed of your sons beginning to shake and rattle and roll in your people, and there's a birthing coming in this city, that there's a movement of fire, God, and Lord, you're going to make us one in the fire, Lord, that you're going to forge us in the furnace, God. I thank you for furnaces of your presence, God, in this city, God, that I thank you, Lord, for places, God, where, Lord, many are added to our numbers in a moment, Lord. Thousands are cut to the heart, God. Even in the Flint schools, Lord God. Lord, I pray, God, for the Flint school board. I pray, God, for our mayor and city council, God. Lord, I pray that you would open heaven over them and unroll the scroll for this city, God. That you would show them the blueprints of this region, God. That you would do download to them revelation of how to move forward, God. Lord, we need a great awakening, God. And we say now's the time for a great awakening now's the time for the church to arise and lord i thank you for your voice in the earth that's going to shake the thresholds god of every doorpost god and fill the house with glory we just honor you and thank you on this day of atonement when decisions are being made that the books of heaven are open and you're releasing judgments of righteousness god lord i thank you that flint shall live and not die. We declare Flint shall live and not die and manifest the glory of the Lord and will catch the eye of the world that Flint will be a model city, a city where Jesus is Lord. We need God in this city. We need God for real. So Lord, we repent of every way that's not your way. You said any way that's not your way, even my good Christian ways are an evil way. Lord, I pray for your ways to be established in Jesus' name. Amen. First of all, give an all honor to God. He's the head of my life and the head of the church and the head of this land, oh, Heavenly Father. I want to say thank you for allowing me to be in your presence this, this day. Um, representing the Metropolitan Baptist Tabernacle, we're down at 930 East Myrtle Street. We've, uh, thank you Geneva for this opportunity, but we've adopted this corner, Stewart and Saginaw, and the corner of Myrtle and Saginaw for the last four years. So uh, it's kind of being like home to do this now. We look forward to doing this every time. Metropolitan is a great place to be. be. A great, great place to worship. Right now we're in a transition period. We're in the search of a new pastor. We just lost our last pastor, who was Carlos Williams. So you all pray for us. Keep you in your, your prayers. But Metropolitan is a good, strong church. It's a church of strong Christians. It's a church of um, mature Christians. It's a church that's full of young, growing Christians. So we're kind of reaching across. God has brought us up and out in a special way. He really has. Uh, he's allowed us to grow from a 75-year-old church, 76-year-old church, I think. It's our last year. Yeah, 76 years. This is our 77th year. <clears throat> so we have old saints, and we got some old history, and some old Baptist. <laughs> we got some old Baptist uh, spirit, per se, for lack of a better word. But we're growing. We're growing in the spirit of the Lord daily, and as the year and the time has changed. So we've moved over, he's allowed us to be in the presence, and he's moved us up in order to, to reach out and touch people in a different way. What would you say to a, uh, what would you say to a, uh, a congregation or a pastor that was considering participating next year for the first time? I would say that come on out, join us, have the fun. This is a fun occasion. And it's a blessed occasion to be able to walk in the spirit of God and stand forward and represent Him, represent Him. This should happen more often than one Saturday out of the year. 
Again, thank you, Geneva, for all you put into this. But I would say that this is it's a good endeavor. It's a thing, good thing, strong thing to bring your church into that they can grow and learn from and meet. Pastor Sherry Britton will be followed by Evangelist Geneva Spears, and we will dismiss you to your location. Hallelujah. Everybody, give God some praise. Hallelujah. God is an awesome and mighty God. And I just want to say that um, Sister Queen Patricia was talking about the blessings of Deuteronomy 28. And that's the song that the Lord had given me. It will be coming out extremely real soon. And it's called, I'm blessed to the max. And I ain't taking it back. And we're declaring, decreeing that the city of Flint is holy and is blessed to the max. City Hall is blessed to the max. The administration building is blessed to the max. The jails are blessed to the max. The court rooms are blessed to the max. All the churches that God has ordained only is blessed to the max. Everything that God blesses, you know, the devil has to be gone. Amen? So as you begin to hear this song, you'll be able to do it with me, sing with me. And I'm a, when I point to you and I say, uh, you say, then you say it. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory. God is an awesome God. Come on, get up on your feet and give God some praise. Hallelujah, we're blessed to the max. And we're not going to take it back. It doesn't matter what it looks like, sound like, or feel like. Hallelujah, we're blessed to the max. Sing with me. I'm blessed to the max and I ain't taking it back. I'm blessed to the max and I ain't taking it back. I'm blessed to the max and I ain't taking it back. Because God's already blessed me. You say we're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Because God's already blessed us. Sometimes you read the word of God. Wondering if it's true. You start believing and confessing the word of God. And the blessings start coming to you. But you got player and haters and non-participators. Lined up from wall to wall. Their main aim in life is jealousy and strife. They want to see you fail and fall. But you got to know you're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Because God's already blessed us. Family, we're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Because God's already blessed us. Thank God for the blood covenant of blessings Jesus gave on Calvary. Now we live a life of from daily victory, walking in authority. But Satan is a liar defeated foe. He had to give back everything he stole. We command them to give back seven folks. So now you know, you know that you know that you're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. Spiritually, naturally, financially, mentally, medically, emotionally, socially, physically, materially. With a counsel of wisdom, revelation, knowledge. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't ever taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. Blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. Woo! Blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. The max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. City of Flint, we're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. We're blessed to the max and we ain't taking it back. Cause God's already blessed us. Spiritually, naturally, financially, mentally, medically, emotionally, so.